I very much hope that the video is focused because, you know, I can't really see. <laughs> Hey yo guys, happy Halloween! It is I, now dressed as a scarecrow. Do you like my outfit? I've gotten so many nice and, well, wondering comments about my eyes and yes, I can see through this, but I can't see really well, so I can see like this much. So I have to turn my head a lot. So anyway, today's video is all about my favorite things this month. I personally love favorite videos because you always get some kind of new ideas. For instance, what to read or what to watch or what to wear. And it's just nice. So I decided that I might start doing those myself because why not? Let us get started and first things first, books. You do know how much I love books. And this month, my favorite book was All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doer. This book was really good. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars in Goodreads and that is a good rating for me. This book's story happens during the World War II and it follows two main characters. One is a girl from France and the second one is a boy from Germany. I don't know how else I should describe this book, but it gave me the same kind of feeling that the book Thief by Marcus Susak gave me. Not in a way that they were very much alike, but they were alike in a good way. They were both funny and heartwarming, but at the same time heartbreaking as hell. You have no idea. And even though this one was my favorite book of the month, I must mention this one. The Welcome to Night Vale novel. I got it yesterday and let me just tell you, I've been waiting for this book since they announced they are making this. As you might tell, I love the podcast, Welcome to Night Vale, and this book is so gorgeous. It's just so beautiful. And... It's hardcover. I thought I ordered the paperback one. Well, apparently I didn't. This happens sometimes. And the next two things are my cosmetic favorite, and this is the first one. It is a lip balm by Bart's Bees. It is a bee wax lip balm, and it is very, very good. The packaging looks like this. I have no idea if it's focused on it, but there is tiny bee on there. I usually have a very big problem with natural cosmetics because they very often contain almond oil and I am allergic to almonds and peanuts. But this one is made with bee wax and ah, oh, it saved my life. It moisturizes your lips like it should and it doesn't leave them feeling sticky. And it has a nice, nice peppermint scent so Ah, oh. my second cosmetic favorite is this nail polish. Although it looks dark red, it is actually dark pink and I bought this from my Estonia trip. And even though I bought it during the summer, I have just now started using it like a lot. It is just the perfect shade for my autumn feeling, I think. My next favorite is art, or actually it is a zine, which I bought from the Helsinki Book Expo, and it is this one called Space. <laughs> As you can tell from the name, this is all about the space. I didn't realize how obsessed I was in space things before I realized that my first tattoo is space related, my second tattoo will be space related, and my third tattoo will be space related. So I think it is very clear that I actually am very obsessed with space. By the way, I just realized I have never shown you my first tattoo. Let me just open this button here. It is here, it is a Big Dipper star constellation and it is actually in dark blue. It might look like it's in black, but I wanted it to be dark blue. This scene was anyways very, very beautiful and it made me so excited about making my own zines. Maybe with my friends and maybe on my own, I don't know, but I just want to make something as beautiful as this is. Maybe not about space, but about something. My next favorite is also art and from the Helsinki Book Expo and it is this vintage poster of a Danak. This Danak actually has a very 
interesting story to it because my actual Finnish last name, Rautiainen, is a Finnish word for Danak. So I am a bird in real life, but my artist name is a wolf. Am I a furry? No, I'm not a furry. No. My battery died for fuck's sake. My next favorite is something I really cannot show you because we do not have those anymore and it is mandarins. Me, my sister and my mother are currently on a snack ban that will last until the Christmas. And oh, it is so hard, you have no idea. I usually snack all the goddamn time, but now what do I eat? The answer is mandarins. As it is a mandarin season, there are mandarins everywhere and they are delicious. So I eat them and I eat them a lot. And apparently my family also eats them a lot because when I was trying to find a mandarin to show you in this video, I couldn't find one. So that's that. <laughs> my second last favorite is kind of vague one because it is knitting. Probably didn't know this yet, but I love knitting and I knit all the time everywhere I go. And this is what I've been making during only last two months. One, two, three, four, and actually five pairs of, of wool socks. There is the sixth pair on its way. I can't find it. Here. I will probably be selling these socks on several artist alleys during this winter and the rest of them I will give away to my friends as a Christmas present or something. And that was it! I hope you enjoyed this video and didn't creep out too much about my face. I hope you had a very nice Halloween! So uh, bye! Can you see I tried to decorate this video also, but the pumpkin is almost the same color as my plant and hopefully it didn't die because of that.